Tracking a few clouds out there over the Central Mountains. Nothing showing up on radar right now as far as the, the rain showers, but wouldn't be surprised, as I mentioned earlier in the newscast, around Stanley, maybe even Salmon Chalice this evening, and seeing some green pop up in that neck of the woods. We are seeing some green just popping up uh, to the north of West Yellowstone. That's scooting off into southern uh, Montana. You can see all the clouds on the map over the Central Mountains. Not too cloudy over the Snake River Plain. We'll say mainly sunny. And then the clouds build up again over the Tetons, Teton Valley, and we got more clouds into Yellowstone. So there's that potential. Could see a shower, or thunderstorm actually in Yellowstone Park this evening. And again tomorrow, keeping a watchful eye on that. Looking at uh, watching all the heat out there. My goodness, 93 at Otto Falls, Pocatello 95. So far, our high in the Gate City has been 96. That's tied the record for today. So we're waiting. Look how toasty it is up in Lewiston. 100 degrees almost, 99, 97. Down in Salt Lake City, we're in the 90s in Cache Valley, Elko at 93. So your forecast tonight, mostly clear, low temperatures, pretty close to where they were last night, give or take a degree or two. Lows will range from the upper 40s in Idle Falls to the lower 60s in Pocatello. We'll be in the lower 50s in Blackfoot and American Falls. 51 for a low temperature in St. Anthony. Rexburg also at 51. Ledor, you'll see 51. And there are those very isolated rain showers and thunderstorms for this evening. Lows mainly in the 50s for the central portion of the state. We got basically just a partly cloudy sky, but Again, wouldn't be surprised if we see a little shower pop up over Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone National Park tonight will drop down to about 41. And then tonight for the southeastern corner of the state, mainly clear. That's what we can't handle, huh? Montpelier, 43. 10 degrees warmer, though, just off towards the west of Malad City at 53. And 43 will be uh, the low temperature at Soda Springs tomorrow. Another toasty day out there. Downey. You're in the mid 90s. Montpelier, you're in the lower 90s. We got 96 at Malad City. And for the upper highlands in western Wyoming, very isolated rain showers and thunderstorms. I think the focal point could be up around Island Park, and that moisture could trickle into Yellowstone as well. If you're going to be around Jackson or maybe Driggs that far south, should be pretty dry out there. And it looks like for the uh, Snake River Plain, more record heat tomorrow. A record high expected in Pocatello. And we got a record high, too, at Idle Falls tomorrow. We'll hit 95 degrees. So your southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven-day forecast. Not quite so hot on Thursday. A dry cold front will start marching across the state, and the wind will pick up. And look at what it leaves in its wakes. Wake there. we got high temperatures in the 80s this weekend. So we're backing off a little bit. Idle Falls seven-day forecast. Windy, kind of a bad hair day for your Thursday, but at least it won't be quite as hot. And look at the weekend. That's what we really care about, right? Last full weekend of August as we go into the last week of August. Teton area, there is a chance of showers and thunderstorms on Thursday as that front pushes in. And then for the Central Mountains, we got a potential some stormy weather tomorrow in the afternoon, evening. A lot of clouds on Thursday. That will cer certainly hold the temperatures down. And then we'll be down a bit, quite a bit uh, for highs this weekend. Look at that, 79 next Tuesday.